Hello friends and welcome to the 5th annual Model Rocket Take and Make. In just a moment we will be showing you our how-to video that you will be able to use as a guide when building your model rocket. Before we get into that, we'd like to go over some details about this year's event and what to expect on launch day. This year we are happy to include our model rocket launch as part of our super cool fun space day. In addition to our model rocket launches, which will take place between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., you can take part in the Eclipse Extravaganza between 12 and 2. You can catch a glimpse of the partial solar eclipse, plus kids and families can join the Astronaut Academy for craft and game activity stations. If you are one of the lucky ones to get a model rocket kit, inside you'll find your Estes E2X rocket kit a fin, and some glue. You'll also find the launch application. Please read it carefully and don't forget to save the bag. You'll need to fill out this form and return it with your completed model rocket in your bag no later than October 7th to the Center Reach building. This will give us enough time to prep your rocket for launch. We will install the recovery materials and engine for you, so all you'll need to do is come down on October 14th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Our event is weather permitting, which means that if there is rain or even if it's a bit windy, we will have to reschedule. Our rain date for this year's event is October 21st. Please make sure to read your instructions for assembling your rocket carefully and use the following video as a guide. All right, here we go. This is your kit. You wanna remove all your items from this plastic uh, bag here. And make sure you have a good area to work. Nice table. Okay, we have uh, some stickers and our instruction manual. And definitely uh, hold on to this. And this we can put over here. And we have this little bag here as well. It's going to have uh, some of the smaller parts and the parachute. And inside the tube, you're gonna have one of your important pieces. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so now we're gonna assemble the engine assembly. So this is the first part we're gonna use is a little tube. And we're gonna need the items that are inside this little bag here. So let's open that up. Be careful if you're cutting it open that you don't cut anything else. Okay, we're gonna use this for later. Just lay everything out so it's easy to find. This is our parachute. We'll open that up later. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take this small tube and we're gonna get our ruler. And now we're gonna measure, as per the instructions, we're gonna come about an inch in from the edge and mark that off with a pencil. And you wanna double check this to make sure this is correct because both these marks we're gonna put on this tube are very important. So we mark our first mark here. And we're gonna mark the second mark here. Let's do this. Make sure it's right. Right here. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like. This mark here and this mark here. You can double check your measurements. Now we're gonna take our X-Acto knife. Be very careful kids with this. And we're gonna poke a small little slit at the first mark at the top. Again, be very careful. There it is. There. Just a little slip. And now we're going to take the 
metal piece that we have here has a little tab and we're going to push it down into the first mark, the slot that we just opened up. So it's going to look like this. See, kind of sticks out inside there. We're going to just hold on to that for now. Okay, make sure it's nice and straight. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take this O-ring and we're going to slide it over and on top of the metal rod to the second mark that we made. So we're only cutting the first mark. The second mark is here. We're going to line it up just up to that mark like that. Make sure it's nice and tight. Open up our glue. And this doesn't have to be super neat. We're just going to put glue around that O-ring. We're not going to see this part, so it doesn't have to be uh, attractive here. We can just put as much uh, glue as possible just to make sure this doesn't move. So make sure you dab enough all the way around this O-ring to kind of set it in place. Like I said, you're going to have plenty of glue left over, but uh, you can use it sparingly here, just enough to keep it from moving. Okay. Nice and sticky. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this O-ring and place it inside the tube, just inside the tube. Okay. You can just double check the fit there. Again, a little glue here, and we're going to put the glue on the inside of the tube. Just get enough in here so it sticks well. And just a little more. Very good. And then we're going to slide that O-ring in. And very important, you're going to want to make sure that it's flush with the outside of this tube. Nice and flush. You can see what it looks like here. And then you're going to want to let this dry. Okay, next, take your rocket body and I'm kind of haphazardly going to do this but we just need to draw a straight line down the middle with a pencil it's just a guideline we're going to take it away later okay so we have a line down the middle the pencil we're going to take this little tube here that we put together and we're going to put the fins on the tube. So you make sure you're sliding it in the right direction. That metal tab has to be sticking out the bottom. We just slide it all the way down. There's no glue here, it just it's very snug. Right down to the bottom. You can see here now what this looks like. You got that little tab sticking out the bottom. And it should be flush on the bottom here. Okay, now we're going to take this green tube, which is going to slide on top of that tube. But first, a little glue. Just enough to make this stick. So again, we're going to put it in the inside of the tube. Slather it around. You don't want it too thick in here, just enough to keep it together. We're going to take that tube and slide it on top of and over that metal piece here to finish the engine assembly, like so. Okay, 
It's pretty good. You got the back end here, nice and flush. And the top. Just take uh, whatever excess glue off, and there it is. Okay. Now we're going to take your rocket body. And remember this line that we drew here, because when we place it on top of the engine assembly, that line needs to be in between two fins. Okay. So first put some glue here. Just like we did before on the inside of the tube. Not too thick, just enough to keep it together and to stick. Nice amount in here. This is attached to the engine assembly after all, so we want to make sure it's nice and secure. And now we're going to place the model rocket body onto the engine assembly. Again, remembering this line, that line has to be in between two of the fins. So make sure that line is lined up in between the two fins, not on a fin. So we just place this over here, and it just slides down and ah, nice and snug. There you go. Now you're going to find that line, and we're going to use that as a guide here to place this small tube on top of that line. And this is the tube that uh, the guide for the launch pad goes through right here. So we take some glue. And we can put some on the rocket body here. Again, not too much, just enough. Wood glue is pretty, pretty strong. I'm going to put some on the tube as well. Just a little bit on the edges here. And now we're going to place the tube along that line, nice and snug, on the, I guess, the lower third here of the rocket. There it is. We want to make this, uh, let this dry. Let's see what it looks like. Got that nice guide tube, and our rocket is together. And this line here can be erased. Just uh, erase it nice and gently, because you're done with that. Okay. All right. Next, get our scissors. Get our instruction manual. And you'll notice up here on page one in the top, you have this little diagram here. We're actually going to cut this diagram out. So uh, right along the lines here, just the outside part of the diagram. Doesn't have to be super neat. This is going to uh, attach our recovery system. So here it is. You're going to want to take this and some glue and your rubbery line that came here. This is the recovery system that the parachute is going to be attached to. And we're going to glue this line to this piece of paper in the order. One, two, three. Okay. So first we'll fold it over along the dotted lines. Like so. Okay, like this. And then we're going to use some glue to first glue on top of this middle part here. You want a, a nice amount of glue here because this is this is going to have the most force when the rocket stops climbing. So you're going to take your recovery line and put it right down the middle, right on top of the glue. Then you're going to fold over number one, just like this. Hold on to it nice and tight. Let it set a little bit. 
And then we're going to take some more glue, put it on number three here. And again, we're going to fold it over on top of that, like so. So you got a nice little square of sticky goodness. And you're going to want to hold down on this until it sets. Take the S excess glue off here. Give it a nice hold. And then let that dry. Okay. Looks good. Now, we're going to attach this to the rocket body inside here, but not too close to the outside. We need to go a little further in, maybe about an inch down, an inch and a half inside the tube. It's very important, like, you know, half a finger's worth. So get our glue again. Glue the outside of this little paper package that we created. And again, you can do a little more glue here. This is an important part of the recovery system. And again, we're going to put it not too deep, just about there. In. And then I'm just going to hold my finger down and let that set. Just like that. And then let this dry. Okay. So now... The lines attached. Next step, take our nose cone and take this part here. Use your exacto knife and we're going to just poke out a hole. Just be very careful. Kids, uh, let your grown ups do this at home. You don't want to take the, the whole tab off, you just want to poke out this little part here. There it is. Okay, we don't need that anymore. And this is what it should look like. So you have a little tab here for you to tie our parachute. So we're going to take this uh, parachute uh, apart, like so. Unfold it. Just a little bit. And you have three lines here at the bottom. As you're going to see now, I'm going to, there we go, take this out. And they all have loops. You want to smooth this out so all three loops are together. And then we're going to thread this through the loop that we created by knocking out that tab in the nose cone. Pull it through here and then around and through your parachute like so. And then you're gonna pull it nice and tight. Just give it a little tug. And now you're connected to the nose cone. That's what it looks like here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our recovery line that's attached to our rocket here. And we're going to double tie it double knot it here through the same loop that we have in the nose cone like so so now you have this whole package is connected you have the line connected and the parachute connected like so we're going to go in here now with our uh, parachute now, this part of the putting together of the model is, frankly, temporary. So we can just fold this over for now and roll this up as nicely as possible. And then we're going to stuff it or stow it, wrap this around, and put it inside the tube. Just feed this line all the way in to the inside of the tube. And if we're launching this, we're going to do this for you again because we have to put the 
recovery wadding paper inside here to protect the parachute. This takes a little patience, but uh, for the time being, you could just stuff it in there. Now, if you have some leftover uh, recovery line here, like if it's not completely snug, you can just cut off, carefully cut off this edge here, this end, so it's nice and neat, and then push it in again. It needs to be snug, but not too tight. There you are. Looks pretty good. We'll see you October 14th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., weather permitting, in the parking lot of our Center Reach building.